Well, before we go on, let's do a little lesson on uh, how sloppy I have been. I have really not paid attention to a couple of things that maybe you have noticed, and if you have, it probably drove you nuts. Um, these nines don't belong here because eight and nine are going to definitely be here. One of these must be a nine. That means there can be no other nines in this row. So I should have gotten rid of those a while ago. And when I do that, when I get rid of something, I must do an ecology check. Okay, and how are we going to do it with this? This is going to be interesting. We've just found out by getting rid of those nines, we've just found something else out. And this is what? If I take that number 630 from that cage, we know we're going to be using the 7 and the 5. They're definitely going to be involved and they multiply to 35. So let's factor out 35 from 630. If you can divide in your head, uh, 630 divided by 35 is 18. If you can't divide in your head, um, well, that's a lesson for another time. Okay, so we know one of these cells must have a 5 in it, one of them must have a 7 in it, and there will only be two free cells. And the factors of 18 have to fit in those two cells. So if we factor 18, get 9, 3, and 3. Those are the factors. Written expanded like that. So, how can we combine these and redistribute them? We can make a 6 times a 3, or we can make it a, um, a 9. Nope. Uh, yeah, a 9 times a 2. Right, both of those will give us 18. Those are the only factors that we can use. And, you know, uh, and other factors of 18 would be 1 and 18, but since we can't use an 18 because it's too big, that doesn't fit in. Now, when we look at these, there's a 9 involved, and we know there cannot be a 9 in one of these cells because of the, of the 9 that's going to be in one of these cells. So this will not be a possibility. So 6 and 3 will be the only factors that can go in here. So this 2 is not a possibility. This 2 is not a possibility. This 2 is not a possibility. And this 2 is not a possibility. Okay? So now we've cleared up one of uh, the things that I had overlooked. Another thing that I had overlooked is the fact that by nature of this 7, this cannot be a 7. And by nature of the fact that there's a 5 here, this cannot be a 5, which means this must be a 9. There's nothing else left. That's really good, because if this is a 9, we know also these cannot be 9s, because 9 only factors in once to 315. So I'm going to erase this 9 just for clarity and make it a little larger. Now I'm not going to be sloppy this time. I will do my ecology check and look up, uh, look down the row, there's no other nines there, and look up and down the columns and get rid of any nines. There's one that would be in that column. Okay, that's great. And because I erased the nine here, I have to do an ecology check for here, for this cage. Taking out that nine means 9 and 4 would have given me 13. But since there's no 9 here, I must get rid of this 4 because it has nothing to combine with to make it 13. Okay? So uh, we've whacked a lot of uh, numbers on this and filled in a couple too. Okay? While we're here, let's take it one step further. Okay, we know that all that's left here, this is a good row, because we, we can get rid of the 6 and the 8. We know that uh, there's no 6 and 8 in any of, uh, can't be here or here. So what can be here? OK, 
could it put could I put a one here? No, because there's a one here. Can I put a two here? Yes, I can. It's not spoken for yet. Threes aren't spoken for yet in this row, and fours aren't spoken for yet in this row. All the others are spoken for. Well, can I have a three here? Obviously not, because three does not combine with two and four in any way to give you a two. So, let's get rid of those threes. And I'll clean up this four. Because that was one ugly four. Okay. Well, that's given us something else then. Because we know this one of these must be a two, and one of them must be a four, although we don't know which. There's only one digit in this row that's missing. So the only digit that could possibly go in the only lonely empty cell here is a three. And that's great. Do our ecology check. Look up and down the rows. No three to get rid of here, but there is a three in the column to get rid of here. That's terrific. And while we're at it, <coughs> I was sloppy before too. I overlooked something else. Since we know one of these must be a three, and one of these must be a six because there are four cells and only four different numbers that can take their places in there. In other words, we know a seven is going to be in one, a five must be in one, a three must be in one, and a six must be in the other. That means there cannot be any threes or sixes over here. And that's great to know. Um, now we do our ecology check because we erased something in there. Can this be a 1? Yes, it can, because you can divide 2 by this 1 and get 2. And the 2 in the form can remain, because we know um, two can be divided, 4 can be divided by 2 and give you a 2. Okay, we'll save the rest for the next lesson.